So over the years, I've done countless videos on security cameras here on TechFlow. Rightly so, because, well, I absolutely love smart home tech in general and security. So we get thousands of cameras flying through our office for us to test. But this one in particular, well, it stood out to me because it has a siren inside of it and it also has a flashing light, like a really bright one to get people's attention. This is taking a little bit of a different angle at this type of thing and I think this is gonna be really interesting to check out. Now, one thing that is slightly baffling about this is the fact that it boasts all of these features. However, it's really price competitive. I'll put all these links in the description for you guys, but I think it's floating around 60 to 70 pounds for a wireless security camera on Amazon, which I don't think is too bad, really. Built-in mic, motion detector. We've got a 1080p lens on here. IP65 water resistant. I say we just get in the box. So we've also got our camera here right up at the top. Let's take this plastic off. This thing, yeah, this thing isn't small, but it's got a fair amount of tech inside of it. It feels really well built though. That's nice. We've got the speaker on the bottom, then some more logos. We have our lens and PIR on the front. We'll find out more what that PIR does later on. There's that light up on the front there. That is kind of cool. And then underneath this little flap right here, you have a micro SD card slot and then a reset button. And this is sort of a rubber seal on here to keep all of that stuff. Nice and safe. Quick start guide in there. I'm sure it'll just be download an app and go. Okay, this is really interesting. Never seen this before. Grommets to hold the cable with full on raw plugs and screws in there for these and then a hard mount for the camera to get this thing mounted on the wall. Standard USB charger included. We are seeing on here five volts at two amps. Just a standard USB charger. Okay, so now it's time for me to go and use this thing. I'm gonna go and get it set up and record some stuff and let you guys know what I think. downloaded the app and it launched the camera and a QR code scanner. Now, I was looking around this device, the QR code is actually on the camera's wire down here. Once I'd done that, it was a simple case of telling it my Wi-Fi name and password. One thing to note though, 2.4 gigahertz networks only. Probably for the best for something like this because then you're getting the extra range that 2.4 offers rather than five gigahertz. Also something to note as well, and I think this is invaluable, if you're gonna pick one of these up, pick up a micro SD card and put it in this little slot here. And what that's gonna give you is 24 seven round the clock recording. Like 24 seven, not just motion activation, 24 seven. There you go. Let's get this thing mounted outside. So on the rear end of the camera, there's actually a little tripod screw hole, which is super cool because that means it's versatile, can be pretty much mounted anywhere. But in the box, you get this little plastic mount, which essentially just screws on here. And then the tie to this gets, you can aim it and then lock in place. Okay, so here we are a few days later. I've had this camera in numerous locations in the nighttime and in the daytime to test out all of the features of this camera, put it through its paces, and these are my final thoughts. Now again, using 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi to connect to this camera. It worked absolutely fine, I had no issues, and the feed on my internet connection at home anyway, which is good, it loaded really, really fast. I'm currently on 4G right now, sat in the office, and if I click on this, as you can see, within a second, we're there, now live. Now this camera's super, super cheap, as I've mentioned. I'll put all those links down there in the description, but it's not that that makes me think people are buying this. It's the features that it comes with. And to do that, I'm just gonna demonstrate them with my phone right here. But before that, we'll get into a couple of tests and I wanna show you guys a little bit of footage from this thing. So what you guys are seeing right now is the camera in my garage. It's about to flick on its night vision in three, two, one. Now this is actual night vision, infrared from the camera. However, the camera has a spotlight on it. If you click that button, it should pop on there. Now what you're currently looking at is my garage in pitch black, and now you're looking at it just being lit up solely by this flashlight, not the infrared IR, just the flashlight. Now you guys will be all saying, Alex, in dark situations, you're meant to use the camera's IR, not the flashlight, and I 100% understand. I'm just trying to demonstrate how bright this thing is. So if you go into the app and click on the settings icon and go down to the white light setting, which is something I wanna note, the language that they use in the app, 
It's just a little bit weird, but it's all right. I can understand it. When light linkage can be triggered only in night vision mode, like, Essentially what this is saying here is the LED will only come on when it's dark and then you can specify a time from one to four minutes for the light to stay on when it detects motion with its built-in PIR sensor. This isn't digital camera PIR, this is a proper PIR sensor. The camera also has a siren function activated by clicking the siren and it gives you a prompt to say it's really, really loud. I wouldn't say it's really loud, But it sounds a little bit disturbing, so I'm gonna turn it off. I mean, I suppose it does the job. It would scare somebody off, or it would at least let them know that somebody knows that they're being watched via the little camera, because it's blaring out some sort of mental tone. Hopefully my voice is coming out of the camera. Let me know what it sounds like down in the comments, but I think you can have a conversation with someone in this thing absolutely fine. Now obviously quality of the camera is a big deal for a lot of people, and all I can really do here is show you the footage directly from its SD card. So here is some footage outside of my office window. Lovely, nice, daylight, lit conditions, and everything seems to be fine. Camera's pretty much tack sharp. I mean, I can't really fault it. And then when total darkness, again, like I said, this is nighttime. This is IR nighttime footage. You can see and make out everything that's going on even in my garage and outside. I'm totally happy and adequate with the IR in this camera. I think it's really good, especially for the price range. I also went ahead and compared the image quality from this loop camera to a Logi Circle. So this is the Logi Circle and here is the Luke camera. You guys can make your own minds up. Now to look back at your footage, you click on the playback option and you get an option of cloud storage if you've purchased it or the SD card. And then if you click on the SD card, well, it essentially just lights up and all the bits you can play back. I should be able to scroll all the way through here and then get to about 11 o'clock. And then here we are, we're at the office. There you go, this is the live feed, the exact thing that happened at 12 o'clock yesterday. That is one thing that I really, really like about this. Like I said, it's invaluable. 24 seven round the clock recording is much better than motion triggered recording because then you've just got absolutely everything. It's peace of mind. You can also set it that the alarm will sound whenever it sees motion. I currently have that turned off. And here's a funny thing, not that I could get this to work, but you can actually do your own <gasps> record a custom ringtone. That's actually mental. I would say if you've got a budget of around 50 pounds and you need a waterproof, high quality, night vision security camera that's gonna record around the clock, I wouldn't look, honestly, much further than this. But heck, that's just my opinion. My name's been Alex, this has been TechFlow, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey!